This, of course, is LG's latest sound bar, Meridian built-in S95, 810 watts for the ultimate cinematic surround sound experience. It's got a subwoofer built-in, triple up firing, 4.0.2 rear speaker kit, so it's actual surround sound. It's gonna have built-in room calibration so it's suitable for your setup. We spend a lot of cash on these really nice displays, yet a lot of times people forget about the sound. They don't upgrade the sound to match. Yes, these slim TVs have actually gotten better at their performance in the audio department, but nothing really lives up to the sound of, of real dedicated audio equipment, particularly when you start talking about bass and rumble, when you're trying to have that movie watching experience. Turn it up! This is pretty self-explanatory. Here is our sub. It's a fairly slim sub, which should make it something that you can hide. Completely wireless in terms of connectivity. All you're going to have here is a pairing button and power. You're not going to need to run a separate wire to it. It gives you a little bit more flexibility on placement. So this is going to be one of your rear speakers. It actually is even labeled. It has the same pairing button here for that wireless setup and all you're gonna to have to provide is power, but you've also got a little thread there if you do wanna place it on a stand. The sound bar itself, it's actually quite slim. Triple up firing channels. The world's first center up firing speaker. It's gonna make it seem as if those sounds are originating greater variety of locations similar to real life. We've got optical in for audio, but we've also got a couple of different HDMIs, an eARC HDMI port, and then some five volt USB power as well. Okay, so we've got the sound bar, actually the entire sound system set up now. You can see just how slim it is fitting underneath the TV. Now in this case, because we've got it on a stand, we kind of just have it sitting below, but it also comes with those brackets so that if you have your TV wall mounted, it can kind of just hang beneath and really kind of integrate. So that's a nice installation as well. You can also see we've got the subwoofer set up beside the TV. That's just for demonstration purposes so you can see it well. Now normally in this type of setup for surround, you'd probably place it somewhere close to the rear speaker. This is just for the purpose of presentation. We've also got our rear speakers sitting here on each side of the couch. We're going to go in here and configure the WOW Orchestra, which allows us to then integrate the existing speakers from the TV, which have been improved. You might be thinking, well, why would you want to integrate that? It's because it goes wasted. You have here a nice, clear center channel, which can contribute to things like dialogue. So you go ahead and integrate it into this upgraded sound system so now you're getting the wow orchestra that sort of low frequency that rumble that punch and then you're also getting the clarity which the television itself can contribute so that you're not just like turning off the internal sound but instead utilizing it you can also see that hidden led display which only pops up once the speaker is turned on you can see it's identified the eARC connection at the moment you do still have your dedicated remote which is small and slim maybe if you're integrating this sound system with a different tv you're kind of going to put this away and probably just use your main remote in most situations. Although here we have some specialized connectivity for Bluetooth and audio specific tasks. Your main remote is going to be sufficient. Okay, so here we get a look at the WOW interface. That's what LG calls it. And what's nice about this is it gives you a visual representation of your sound system and setup because these are wirelessly connected. Like there's no wires going between these rear units and sound bar itself or the TV for that matter. We're gonna wanna know that everything is working together and that's the thing that LG's calling the WOW interface. So here you can see you've got your rear units identified here. The subwoofer is dialed in. We have the sound bar itself and they're all broadcasting audio. There's a few different modes in here as well. So AI Sound Pro is kind of the default setting here. This is obviously going to gauge the type of content you're interacting with. Uh, you can also just go in and lock it on something of your choice manually, like standard cinema, clear voice if you want to enhance the voice, especially with a lot of the streaming services now. You've got like intense explosions and then you can barely hear the voice. Don't even get me started on it. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. So you may want to enhance the voice through the clear voice setting. There's also sports, music, game, and then we can get the bass going through what they're calling bass blast. I'll leave it in the AI Sound Pro mode for now. Now I'm noticing immediately the significance 
of adding the TV's own audio. So that idea that it will be integrated with your surround setup, because it's the most front and center thing. It's what you're sitting in front of. I mean, obviously the sound bar is there as well, but I'm hearing that added clarity from the TV speaker also. Oh, give me the bass. Give me the bass. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Alongside my father. My father didn't believe in revenge. We believe in something. You know what? It really is so much more immersive when you add the sound. Just in general, you have these amazing visuals on these modern TV technologies, whether it's OLED or mini LED. So you're in, enjoying that image and then you add the sound and you're like, oh yeah, that's the piece that's missing. That's the reason that you're not like fully locked like I just was on that trailer. So when you think of it in those terms, it's really a small upgrade like cost wise, but it enhances the thing you've already invested in in a major way, which is the display. So it's kind of, it's an actual, actually an easy add-on. Whether it's for movies, but also for games, I think we have the new Spider-Man on PS5. The other cool thing when utilizing eARC is it's just like all of your sources are automatically going to be utilizing the sound system and the same remote. Like there's no complexity of receivers or variety of inputs. It's like, I just turned on the console and it knew immediately that's what I wanted to do. And it's pumping through the sound system and then utilizing that profile. Attic, Good helps. clarity. I can put that on my resume? Well, listen, there's an open photo call at the New York Bulletin. I just sent a shot in yesterday. It's not much money, but... You're still going. Woo! So thanks to LG for sending over their new sound bar featuring the new WOW Orchestra. And the cool part here is that you're finally able to integrate the TV speaker with your surround sound. You get this enhanced clarity through this WOW Orchestra integration. Things like dialogue are just gonna sound a little bit more clear. And then the other new aspect, what they're calling WOW Interface, it allows you to adjust volume, check your connection status, and select different sound modes. You don't need to be wondering if everything is functioning in tandem. You see visually that each speaker is currently contributing to that surround sound experience. So shout out to LG for sending it over and enhancing our gaming and movie watching experience.